Jump to this is our build for Johnny. Highlighting increased uh, clue range and also decreased tracking cost. So we can chase him for longer. Serrated, feral for high damage and no savagery. Savagery is at 41 for the attributes. Endurance at 50. Tend Riser is a unique perk. You can change this for if you want, but I'm going to use this perk and using the doors to my advantage. So we can slam the door on them and hopefully do some damage towards them. Really great. And also, ground perk here uh, decreasing the cost of melee attack consumption for our uh, stamina cost. So we're able to just keep running, chasing, hitting. Doing damage and probably being a living pain towards victims. And this is a build around here for the skill tree. And so Raider is the only reroll. So make sure to have fun with that. This is going to be a fun time. So let's jump into it. I know we're going to have a fun game here. I know it. I definitely know it. You like TCM better than Friday 13th? I never liked Friday 13th. I can say that with full confidence. The game looked cool because Jason was in it. And that's pretty much it. It doesn't seem fun. It seems more like a roleplay game. Let's jump to the action. This is going to be quite fun as Johnny. Let's turn on the car battery straight away. So I'm the only one that spawned here. They're making noise in the basement already? My god. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Let me turn this on. The justice for Sunny. Yeah, they need to work his kit in some way. Rework it. Should the face, uh, face break most doors in uh, the family house? Uh, he just needs to break them all down, I think, yeah. If the game is going for a prolonged time, break down the doors. If the game is not good for a prolonged time, then you don't want to do that. Until you need to, you know? Grandpa... Why Johnny's so good? Because it's fun, it's enjoyable. It's like your casual killer. You jump into it, and he's got high damage, high endurance. You chase targets to a certain degree. Can't go through crawl spaces, but you can do a huge amount of damage around corners, and that just shocks the victims. Because they don't expect it from a player like this. They usually expect the damage to come from Leatherface. But Johnny kicks quite hard with his build. There's been padlock. The window up top is not broken yet, so we're safe there. Let's open this up. Close this. We're going to turn our ability on right now. Where did you go? Go around, around the main entries. Found footsteps. Love to see it. They're at the side door, aren't they? There's a high level Connie, so she's opening side door. I knew it. I knew it. I should have just like, checked it myself. I'll try me to midway. Let's see. What? Got her. Well done. Well done. That's what you have to think about. Think about how to move around the house, and it's so much easier. Don't try to chase the same way they're running, because then you won't get the kill. Yeah, I feel like someone's above. Maybe I'm built to, to reset to a certain degree. Yeah, someone has to be above. Time to play. To what degree is the only question. Yeah, I can't see though. That side door still being open is gonna be kind of questionable for us. Want to feed Grandpa? It always best when Make sure it gets get to level three. Yeah, chase is good. If it's an open field, Johnny's just great at it. Like, anything in the open is always great. But there's all these iframes, it becomes kind of questionable. And now it comes down to map knowledge, you know, where to play around. Because that, that level, uh, that high level uh, Connie play just died in an instant. She thought she could just escape from me. No way. I'm not allowing that. I was going to find you, hunt you down, and kill you. Either way. I think they're actually still in basement. Which is really weird. You're checking all the locations. I see no footprints at all. Yeah, it's how much the basement still. This is really good. Not found it. There we go. There we go. Wait for my stamp. Good damage. Chase target. Oh, that's so lucky. She's gonna bleed out. Oh my god. You latch the door?
Dead. Absolutely outplay. That's the mind games. Even though I can't use crawl spaces, I still win. It's the mind games. I love it. That's two. And these are all high level plays, by the way. They're actually just crazy plays. They just get completely smoked. Oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. Someone else is hiding here. Did they race it in um, a basement? How much they did? Yep. Okay, cool. So now Lurface has time to actually break stuff. Ooh, what's this? Who is safe here? Racing my ability so we find more uh, investigations. This area has been cleared up. Found Leland. There we go. There we go. He has no clue. Nice damage. That's a bit of bleed there. Is that enough? I'm back to the top part. Oh, we're checking for footprints again in all the highly contested areas. So if you play smart with this character, it's so strong. Like, it's really fun to play too. Guys, okay, feed uh, ramps over here. Should we level one now? Welcome to your follow Twitch. Welcome, welcome. Wait for my ability to reset. I'm mad folks right now. They'll play a D scene. Were they in a party? They were not. They were just watching each other. They're all in the basement. I can't tell why you'd be lingering in the basement for this long without making an op uh, opportunity for a play. You know, unless they're really terrified. I'm going for an upstairs loop just in case I miss out some footprints. But I feel like I'm pretty safe here. Yep, looks pretty good. This looks very good. I'm going to party in the basement right now. Before they come back up. Found you. There we go. I knew it. I can't make this in time, though. Yeah, it's all right. Thing is, I know where you're going, so pretty safe here. Investigate this. I thought it was him for a second, so I have to check. Oh, look where he went. Oh, no. If I'm right here and I find him, he's dead. Oh, Julie's here too. We found them both. It's not bad. I got uh, tracking on Hellplay, not Julie. Go by the window. Absolute idiot. He's dead. He's absolutely dead. Unless he jumped down well in time, he's absolutely dead. Oh my god, the bleed out! <laughs> oh god. That's definitely gonna hurt. That player's gonna fuse box. It has to be. I'll go fuse box. Yep, fuse box. Wait, not? Wait, wait, let me get that footprint again. Find them, find them. He's got fuse, he's got fuse. I told you, I read that guy like a book. He's got fuse. We gotta go over here and just camp fuse box and we're pretty much safe. Uh, geez, can I write that chat? Camping there. I was about camping, uh, he there wrong, but it does matter. He's in there. He can't be anywhere else. He can't be anywhere else. I honestly think it's impossible. Who's that? Look, it's right there. And we can't cr go through there because we have no crawl space characters. I think you open up the crawl space though. He's in there! I can smell him! He's camping there! Oh my god, this other player, his little face kinda sucks. Oh, 
Wait, he ran through here. Old. He's down there again. Oh no. Right to the basement, he's gonna bleed out. He has no chance, he's bleeding out. The amount of pressure we've had this whole game is insanity. It's actually insanity, sorry. I should stay up top in case he gets for fuse play. Because I'll go for fuse play and try to drag everybody to down. Oh, never mind. He's right here. He went through the same gap. Uh, I'd actually got the kill just then. He's upstairs, he's at the actual place. Can he do it all the time? Cook's got him. I got him. I got him, I got him. Oh, he's so hurt! Get him, get him, get him, he's so hurt! He's gonna bleed out, he's gonna bleed out. He actually bleeds out around the other side. He's dead. He's 100% dead. 100% dead there. I see him right there. He's in that side compartment down there, in the other bedroom. I see him through that crawl space leading to the red door. Which means he's opening up that crawl space there, or he's gonna stay in there and die. But he picked up meds, so he can actually heal up. All I do now is just wait around this corner, and hopefully he just makes a bad play. Here we go, we got it, we got the bad play. Watch this, watch this. I see him right there, see? He's right there in the corner. That's it. That's dead. Play it out. He has to go through a crawl space, which means he's gone. Oh, the crawl space is gone. He's dead. Oh my god, just die to bleed out. Go. Three, two, one, bleed out. Hello there, buddy. You're dead. There we go. Johnny gets the kill. Here's Johnny. Goes absolutely nuts with his build. It's so fun. And you can change tenderize to whatever perk you want. But I kept tenderize just in case for the occurrence when people are using door slams. I can door slam them. But that was really fun. 3K is Johnny. Go around the map. Showcasing the pressure of the character. And how good he can actually be. Overall. Because it's a fun control character to a certain degree. But you have to get one kill early game. Get one kill early game. Like we did against that high level Connie kind of player at level 71. We killed the early game. The whole tone of the game changed then. Because now they're stuck in the house with us. The family. And there's no chance they're going to survive when Johnny's on the loose. My god. That's some crazy points there. 2,200. Three kills. Love to see it. And the cook clutching as well. He was supporting us in every instance. That little face was a bit, you know, wasn't as profound as his title says. But he was there in the game. And then the team was trying their best in every way possible. GG's, GG's. Even the last play died to bleed out. So technically that would have been four kills. Because we're going to that location to get the fourth kill. So it could have been a 4k. If you mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lordy at GameStars, 10% off, and also visit our merch store, btlmerch.com. Show us support, greatly appreciated.